we're going to do a full Philips Hue app walkthrough and go through all the steps so that you can understand how to make your home look really good with customizable lighting scenes and how you can use certain accessories like the Philips Hue smart button. I hope you enjoy. Let's get at this. So what you're going to need to do, of course, you're going to need a Philips Hue lighting system. You're going to need the Philips Hue hub, but you do need the Philips Hue app for sure to get this going through because this is the Philips Hue app walkthrough. So let's get started. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to go into your Philips Hue app and you can see it's pretty straightforward and simple here in the Philips Hue app. You've got your set of lights. You probably already set up a room and then there's a lot of things that you can do. You can go into the scenes and you can look at all the scenes that they have available here. They have Savannah Sunset. They've got where basically say if you have a set of three or four lights, uh, the Arctic Aurora, relax, concentrate, bright for those settings in your office that you want to make sure you have the right lighting. Of course, they have a night light. So there's a lot of settings that you have here and you can see on the top bar, the lighting kind of scales or changes the hue from like a dark orange to a light or a light to dark pink. So if you have a set of lights, like for my example, I've got a set of lights, I have three lights in my office. And what it's going to do is it's not going to actually make all the colors the same in every, every light bulb. It's going to change the colors on light bulb one, two, and three to make that scene. So you can see that here that they, uh, you can actually change the color in your color wheel to any color. So this is like the color lamp two out of three and number three and one, and you can change it all the way through and you can see how you can basically make a scene. The next thing you can do is you can also just make to go to certain whites. You can go from colors to all whites and you can go from soft to cool. One of the things that you can also do is, is you can add a picture. Now think about this. You look at these pictures like the horizon here or the Hawaiian sunset and it can change the scene based on that picture. So you take a look and you can scan through the pictures. You can scroll left or right and you can see like, for example, this nighttime scene, um, it'll change the lights, one blue, one a little bit light blue and a little bit white and you'll have that scene. So you can customize your scenes with the palette. Again, you can pick your light bulbs based on what you have. You can pick one to be bright white. You can pick another one to be blue, whatever you like, you can basically make your scene. So this is one of the great features that Philips Hue has in their app. We're going to go into the routines. And one of the things you can do is have a home and away routine. When you go through the home and away routine, you have to make sure that you enable it. So you enable it. And once you enable it, it'll take you through the Philips Hue website to make sure that you can locate it with your user login, whatever login that you use to sign into your Philips Hue app system. For me, I've used my Google account and you're gonna have to give uh, Philips Hue the permission to trust the application. So you say yes. And once you say yes, it's gonna go through these features and then you can enable the out of home control, uh, sorry, the location control. As you can see, there's a lot of good features. When you get home, you can make sure that certain lights turn on and you can even phase them in and out based on time to turn off after a certain time. So you, in the home and away app, you can set it up for coming home, leaving home. And in this situation, yes, for example, while using the app, you should set your device's location to access the location. Next thing you can do is you can set up a routine for waking up. So you click the routine and by default, it sets it up for 7 a.m. You can see you can change the time for any time of the day through the clock wheel. And then also the next thing you can do after you set your time. So I'm just going to set it for 730. You can pick any sort of day you can fade in. So say, for example, it's at 730 before you want to wake up for those lights. It can gradually fade to the light intensity that you want to make sure that you have a good wake up scene. So for me, I'm going to pick 30 minutes and you can set which lights you want in which room. And so you can set up your go to bed routine. And in this situation, you know, the routines will always set onto a warm light setting and gradually fade out to help. So you can pick which day, let's say it's your work day. And so you can set it up on your, you know, you can write even the description what that scene is. So let's just say work day. Another thing you can do is you can set up your custom routines and these are custom routines you can set up at specific times or you can set it up at sunset or sunrise. And what you're going to need to do, like I mentioned before, is you're going to have to set up your location. And so when you set up your location, it figures out when the exact time of sunset or sunrise is in your location. And you can also 
make sure that you fade in or fade out after that time. So you can set it up whatever routine you want to call it and which room it should tap in. So let's just say, for example, instead of the office, it's your bedroom. And you can turn rooms off at certain time. Let's say if you want to turn it off at sunrise or a specific time, you can do that as well. Next thing you do, you can set up timers. Now this is pretty cool. Like say, for example, even at New Year's, you wanted to set up a time, a time square and you can set up your own time square and have the lights set up for whatever time, you know, you can, uh, you can use this for your kids to when their homework is done or give them a certain time frame for, you know, when bath is supposed to be done, that kind of thing to make sure that they understand how much water they're using, whatever you like, you know, you can set it up for 10 minutes as a default. So there's other settings that you can do within the Philips Hue app. And one of the amazing things that they have is called the Hue Labs. And so what it does is this takes you into an actual website interface inside the Philips Hue app, and you can scroll through and either P Philips or people have worked through specific customizable apps based on holiday scenes, um, the seasons, uh, whether you want candlelight romance, or if you're having dinner at home, um, based on a certain holidays of the year. Um, just all kinds of scenes that you can do. And this is all through what they call the Philips Hue Labs. And so you can go into one of them. And let's say, for example, the holiday living scenes. And you can pick, you know, based on that, the duration and the time. Um, and so what they've got is, is they called like what they call it a winter wonderland. You can imagine what that could be like. Maybe it's like bright white flickering a little bit here and there. Like these lights can actually do so much based on these type of programs. So you can see as you go through, you can rename it if you like. And the thing is, is like now the Philips Hue Labs, which is on the website is now connected to your Philips Hue bridge or your hub. And so you can download or install these settings into your actual home setting. So there's an option there to install. You install it from the Philips Hue Labs they call it a formula and there you go. Now you've got another specific, uh, customizable scene that has been made by either Philips Hue or other people. And you can have your lights go through a certain program. Um, if certain sequence based on how many lights you have, um, it's pretty amazing that they actually have done this. And so you can actually send feedback to see how it works. Uh, these are all tests, so or betas, if you will. So you can install them. There might be some bugs in them based on what type of lights you have, but at least there's an opportunity for you, the consumer, the user, to test out what lights you want. Philips Hue also comes with certain accessories like the Philips Hue Sync. You can set that up with your TV to make sure that your lights respond based on what your TV is doing, or you could set it up with your gaming. If you've got the chroma from Razer, you can organize based on what type of hues are coming off of your screen. And then you can put that in the background and create your own gaming or TV experience, lighting experience. And then they also got some apps that they also play with. It's the DJ light, which you can set up your own awesome dance floor if you like at home. Um, and then it shows you like throughout this app, it shows you, um, has in in-house, uh, setup for how you want to set up your entertainment areas, things like that. So the Philips Hue app actually has a lot of great stuff packed into this really simple user interface of the Philips Hue app. And it walks you through everything really simple. Like basically all of the controls are really easy to touch. It tells you how you want to, if you, how you want to set up your entertainment area here. It, it goes through every single step and, and you know, for this example, we're going to go through it here in the Philips Hue app, but see, you can organize your lights based on the location, the spatial location in your room. And so now Philips Hue remembers that, and you can basically set up any sort of sequence uh, for that. And then you can test it. Philips Hue also talks about the apps that you, they like that they work with and partner with, and they'll show you it here. So signify is the owner of the Philips Hue lighting system. So you can see, like I mentioned before, the light DJ, they've got Hue Switcher, Hue Dynamic, they've got uh, Home Assistant, specifically they pick Home, Home Assistant. So it works with Apple HomeKit. And of course the Friends of Hue, or Miss A experience, I should say. And you've got the Apple HomeKit, Google Assistant, Cortana, if this, then, and that, Logitech even your alarm system, Vivint Smart Home. Um, it connects with Razer, 
basically any sort of gaming system. Bush Jaeger, which is uh, really popular in uh, Germany and um, with the Bush line of products. So they've got videos that you can set up for anything pretty much to mimic your presence, to creating a timer, again, home and away routine. So if there's anything that you need in this app to figure out, they've got a setup video for it, which is pretty cool. In the settings, you'll notice it, it basically says that you can do your home, out of home control. You can do light setups for each light. You can just take a look at the information of your Philips Hue bridge to make sure everything is functioning. Um, making sure what channel it is on the Zigbee channel. Sometimes that's important. You can again, take a look at your light settings. You can see if you look at the information button on the right. And oh, that's the other thing too. When you click on those lights, your light actually flickers. So if I clicked Philips Hue lamp one, Philips Hue light actually in my office here is flickering. So that's pretty cool. It gives you just the information based on what your device is. You can take a look at your rooms that you have and you can pick and choose and move which light you want in certain rooms. It gives you all these icons that you can use to represent what room you're in or what location you're in, like the garden, outside, your gym, you know, like the staircase, uh, your gaming den, anything they almost that you can think of. They have a setting for it, whether it's your driveway, your porch or your barbecue, you can set up your rooms and zones that way. Now, again, with the uh, that we were talking about earlier that you could have an accessory now let's say for example an accessory is a smart button and with the smart button you can set up all the different scenes that you want based on how many times you press it so they give you five presses and you can put a different scene for each one so in my example in the office you can pick um, bright uh, enlightened uh, you can pick uh, steady you know they basically change the light so bright dimmed uh, whatever it is that you want to pick on whatever how many times you press this button in sequence the second press for example you could do this so you can set up your smart button any way you like and then you can set up your entertainment area which that video showed you how to do um, you can set up your lights so you select which lights let's say in my office i'm just going to call it the entertainment area and i select all my lights they're on the lights are ready and now i can manage those lights based on the orientation where it is in the room so let's just say for the sake of argument that I'm setting it up like it is my entertainment area, I can set up that sequence one, two, and three based on uh, where they are locationally. And then you can test them. And as they're testing, the lights right now are changing and you can check the synchronization to make sure that you have it set up. And if it needs adjustment, you can adjust it really easily just by dragging your finger along with where, where the light bulb is and it goes through these tests to make sure that you have the right location. So whatever orientation, the way the lights are, whether it's in a grid, you know, like a three by three or your pot lights are two by six or whatever, you can set up your lights that way to make sure that the Philips Hue app knows exactly how it works. Now, one of the things you can do here for sure, when you do the, um, your light, you can set it up of the, the white spectrum or you could do in the color spectrum and you can drag all your lights. Uh, throughout the whole color wheel to make sure that you have specific things when that light turns on um, by default. So for me, for example, every time I go into my office, I'm just going to make sure that it has the default setting um, for each light, uh, which is a pretty cool feature because a lot of uh, lighting apps or smart home lighting apps don't actually have that feature as a default. You can also set your location for the sunset and sunrise routines or your home and away routines. So this basically creates a geofence um, of your home location so that when you drive within so many miles of your home or a mile of your home, um, your lights will turn on. And uh, the thing is, is it changes based on what the actual sunrise and sunset times are um, in your location. And you can make sure that uh, those lights turn on 15 minutes before, 30 minutes before, depending on what time you come home, uh, or just to make sure that it's ready to go before it actually gets dark, depending on your location, and you have a range up all the way up to two hours. The other things you can do in your app, of course, is to make sure that if you want notifications on your phone or your device, they'll send you notifications um, from either the products and services to their partners. You have that opportunity there. This is always a good opportunity to look at your software updates. Sometimes Philips Hue can have updates very frequently. So it's just an opportunity for you to take a look at which light bulbs need updating. The light bulbs themselves are the devices that actually work with the Philips Hue bridge or the hub. 
So the Philips lighting actually has uh, programmable software inside of it that needs to be updated. And you can see that there, it actually has a model number and it tells you which version of software that you need. As you go through the about, it, Philips has done a really great job of giving credit for where it's due in terms of who designed what, uh, in terms of the lighting schemes. And when you go back to your home page, based on how you've set your lamps, so you can see in the sequence, it's not all the same color, your lights are all different and you can see that in the spectrum and that's a really just really nice uh, graphic, graphical interface that you can have to ensure you understand what your lights are doing. So you can turn them on and off on the lamp. You can basically pick the right brightness of your light from cool to warm um, right there on the bottom of that, uh, that tab. Uh, the Philips Hue app gives you a lot of opportunities to change lighting in a very simple, uh, where you don't have to go through a lot of steps. You can change your scene to whatever you want and create as many scenes as possible. Game time routine, whether it's a Super Bowl or favorite basketball game or whatever, you know, you can say then uh, integrate that with either Miss A or Google Assistant or HomeKit and call out that scene and be able to have your Philips Hue lights change. Uh, the Philips Hue app is very powerful. Uh, you can change your lights any way you like and it's a great app. Thank you for watching. Please watch the Wise app full walkthrough.